The campus of Middle Tennessee State University is usually full of college students, but this weekend, 20 different middle and high schools took over a building for the Tennessee First Robotics Competition. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us what it takes to win it. All right, three, two, one, go! Every competitor on this gymnasium floor is either a middle or high school student. Hard work and a lot of preparation. Although at times they sound more like a parent. We're proud of her whatever happens today. And in a way, they are. We've seen her from being just like one part to this whole robot. Like we've known her through every her whole life. Each team spends months designing and then redesigning. Try to build that and see if it actually works. And if it doesn't work, we have to scrap the idea and move on to another one. All in hopes of having the best robot in the nation. This makes the arm go up and down and this makes the claw close and open. These students from St. Cecilia Academy in Nashville even gave theirs a name and a personality. Well, we have to be positive around her or else we'll jinx it. So we feel very confident. Her name is Rita. As you might expect, teams come from all across the country to compete against each other. But what makes this competition unique is they're also randomly assigned to work with each other. For this round, St. Cecilia drew friends from across town at Hillwood High School to team up with. I'm more nervous about the competition, really. Their robot, Valkyrie, was put together with care, attention, and a little duct tape. That's not gonna die, right? That's fine. For this round, St. Cecilia and Hillwood had to pick up objects with their robot. Faster than the opposing team. Should we go spend the duck first? And while there technically was a final score, the real point of the competition was to test skills like communication. Yeah, lower it, lower it. And then grab it. Oh, I think it's in there. And of course, teamwork. Everybody has their input where it is needed. Everybody knows where their strong points is, and we all know where our weak points are. So it, it helps us out a lot more. The kind of lessons that are good for all of us, no matter your age. You got it, you got it, you got it. In Murfreesboro, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Chris, thank you. This is the first year the competition has returned since the pandemic.